Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's check what's beyond this door that we open with the slingshot by poking out that poor eye. Oh, this is a pretty silly room here. First what you want to do is stand on this ledge and kill off these things. I remember this room quite well because of the fact that it kind of traps you into something that I found quite hilarious at the time, which is why I remember it so fondly. First, kill off all these things as I showed you before in the last part with your slingshot. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. It didn't look like it hit it at all, but then again, the bottom one looked like it wasn't going to miss and it somehow hit the ledge. Okay, jump across this gap. Surprise attack! Yeah, if you managed, I should say, if you decided to jump forward <laughs> like you would normally do on the original version, you would be screwed! <laughs> Because this giant Skulltula here, or just Skulltula, whatever you want to call it, is there and it will ambush you. And that got me the first time <laughs> I played Master Quest. Because I was used to just jumping across to this treasure chest for the compass. And then just getting demolished by it. Well, it doesn't do that much damage, but still. It, because of the fact that it knocks you right off the platform, you just get owned by it completely. And it's pretty hilarious. Uh, that's a funny thing about Master Quest, is that it's got a really interesting feel to it. it. It feels like it is a modification, like a fan modification or a hack of a game, basically. And if you look up here... Uh, oh. These are blocked off. I need either bombs or bomb chews to get up there, so I'm going to have to come back here later. And wait. I don't hear anything up there. I thought there was like a skull tula up there or something like that. Anyway, yeah, knock down, down the ladder with your slingshot and just climb out of here. Um, you're not going to be able to get everything on your first run through here. Master Quest is designed so that you have to repeat areas a few times after you get the necessary items. So expect to have to repeat or come back to these areas later. And don't worry, I'll show you everything as I usually do. And I'm just going to bypass you all together. Just, whoa, because I can. <laughs> You're kind of annoying this early in the game for my weakling Link self here because of the fact that I've got this tiny, tiny sword. It's like a paring knife or something like that. It's got a horrendous range if you didn't notice that before. Sometimes if you're attacking too close to an enemy, what will happen is that you'll walk into them as you're swinging your sword and take damage. So be sure to... Uh, uh, be very cautious about that, about how you use your Kokiri sword here. <clears throat> and this will be your primary weapon for most of your time as of now. I'm not going to explain what I mean by that, <laughs> but you know what I mean if you've played this game before. Anyway, over there... It, wait. Huh? Huh? Um... Wait, something... Oh, okay, I see a switch over there. <laughs> I was going to say, what did I miss over here? I was looking for a, a torch that was on that side, and I thought it was, I had to make, like, make it like a pier or something. <laughs> but, okay, so it's on that side. But the thing is, is that... And I'm already low on health, dang it. <laughs> um, oh, is that a fairy? Yeah, that's a fairy. Whenever you grab a fairy, it will recover all of your hearts. Yay! And yeah, those are random wild fairies roaming about these hallways of the Great Teku Tree. You also find them randomly as you go throughout the game. Anyway, uh, oh, there's also fairy fountains, which I'll show you the locations of some of them. Whoops, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> I would like to burn this and then step on this. I'll make a treasure chest appear on the other side for whatever reason, just to annoy me, I guess. And I think that's because that Deku Baba here just respawns every time you move away from it for a little while. Maybe that's why it did it. It did it to trap you. Uh, that's another thing about Master Quest, is that it seems to prey on your knowledge of the original game, basically. And how am I supposed to open... Oh, I, I didn't see this up here. I am an idiot. <laughs> oh, there we go. Um... Okay, let's go through here and see what is up. And, uh-oh. No, 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 I don't think so. What? How the heck? I was holding up my shield. How did you do damage to me? Okay, that is a Deku scrub, but what I want to do is clear out this room of 
him and the Goma eggs before I walk under them. I remember this room is infested with the things because I got ambushed before. Uh, wait, there's only this one? I thought there was more in this room. And why? I'm shooting right through the dang egg. <laughs> fine, fine, fine. There we go. <laughs> I'll just defeat you the old fashioned way. You've seen that bullet go right through the egg. Don't lie to me. So that opens that pooper. Wait, was that the door that I... Yeah, that was the door that I came through. So that, that one needs me to open that with the torch. Or I should say with a Deku stick and torch. So that likely means I can do this. Because there's no torch in that room, that's for sure. Ah, okay, I can take the torch from room to room. Awesome sauce. There we go. I didn't remember the puzzle, but I remember the ambush. <laughs> So, I, I, I figured it out pretty quickly, but that's okay. Oh, this room. I remember this puzzle as well. There's a chest over here just randomly sitting there for whatever reason. I don't know why. Uh, maybe I should have got that later on because I might screw this up here. Um, first off, there's a Goma egg on the ceiling. You might want to take care of that because uh, that'll get in your way if you fall into the water or if you go on that platform, it'll plop on top of your head. Now, stand on this. Now you'll notice something. This is one of those blue. This is a blue switch that if you run off of it, it it won't stay down. So you're thinking to yourself, okay, I need to find where a block is, or I need some sort of enemy that can hold this switch down. Well, you would be very, oops, very, very wrong about this. The trick to this room. Oh, and also there is no way to drain the water in this room. So you can't like go underneath that spiky pole the normal way. So what are you gonna do here? What you gotta do is light the torch like that, get on this platform, time yourself right, roll underneath it, jump across, light both torches before your stick goes out, and that is how you get across. Now notice that there's a song of time block here that also was not here in the original game, which means I'll likely have to come back here later to 100% the area. There's probably a skull to love behind it or something like that. Wait, wait, wait. Listen. Could have swore I heard a skull too Anyway, I'm going to stun it and shoot it. There we go. I guess I didn't really need to stun it anyway. I just thought I would use the Deku nuts for the fun of it. Because <laughs> pretty much ne no one uses Deku nuts in their walkthroughs. Pretty much because they're useless in most cases, as most people would rather just time things rather than stun enemies. Uh oh. Stun. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. And shoot it. Shoot it. Uh. Eh, I, come on, man, I hit you. Eh, come on. Eh, no, 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 no. There we go. <laughs> uh, why I would like to take out the eggs first is because the eggs only take one hit and they're harmless when they're stationary like that. And wow, there's a lot of them in this room. <laughs> what? You're telling me I can't shoot the eggs on the ceiling. Why can I shoot some eggs on the ceiling but not all of them? Ah, oh, this is ridiculous. Okay. Shadow, fall down. There we go. I'll just defeat you normally. Come back. Come on. I don't want to spawn your brethren. There we go. And what if I were to shoot him closer? Like if I were to shoot him here? What if I were to Z target onto him? That works. Why does that work, but hitting the egg directly with the slingshot doesn't? Maybe I'm supposed to hit just above him or something? I don't know. Come on, fall. There we go. <laughs> I'm just gonna do it like this. I'm I'm racking. Oh, I forgot about that one. <laughs> go 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 go! Yeah, that was a close one. I almost took a hit there, and I also cleared the room. But okay, what am I missing here? Something, something. What is that? Oh, is that a keys? I think that's a keys up there. Yep, that's a keys. That was the last thing I needed. I'm surprised I didn't notice that before. <laughs> I mean, I was looking around the ceiling. And let's see what's beyond this door. Oh, uh, what? Is that another? Wait, what, 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 what's up? Is that a gold skull tool up there? That's a gold skull tool up there. No! What are you doing up there? I can't get you without the boomerang. Anyway, uh, I see these keys are on these torches. So that means they are going to be making flaming keys somehow, so I'm just going to take them out really quick uh, before I get any further into here, and I'm using a lot of Deku Seeds 
so I think I should be a little more sparse with using them. Um, I think I'm gonna burn both of those um, spider webs away from the doors. Oh, wait, was there two? Yeah, there was two spider webs. Okay, so I bet you this is another one of those switches that I have to be quick with. So I'm just going to. Okay, there's one there. So I'm just gonna rush towards it. Go, 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 go! Burn, baby, burn! And go back, go back, go back, go back. And there's the other one. Go, go, go! Oh god, oh god! No, 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 no! Don't touch me! Ah, I lost my stick power. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's too bad. I was hoping to get it with just one stick, but I probably should have just conserved my uh, sticks, so to speak. And I guess, even well, then again, that wouldn't really be necessary because the game gives you sticks all over the place. So what the heck am I worried about anyway? <laughs> so I'm going to burn that and see what's beyond door number 63. Uh, there's giant Deku Baba there, a big Deku Baba. I hear a skull tool on here. It's a gold one. I think I can get that one. Mm. Okay, I'm going to just play it safe like that. <laughs> and... Then I don't think they do any more damage than a normal Deku Baba does. Oh, by the way, your jump attack with the A button like I just did there does quite a lot more damage than other slash attacks, so feel free to use it to kill off enemies. Yeah. What? Oh, that, oh! I forgot about the short, tiny range of the sword. I'm going to... Yeah, there we go. I, I figured I would just take care of it now. Okay. I should be able to get rid of the this critter here. By the way, I should mention that you cannot Z-target a Skulltula, but you can Z-target the coin. Or, or I should say token, excuse me. Uh-oh. You're telling me I can't get that without the boomerang either. No! I've never wanted something more than this token. Give me. <sighs> yeah, it's out of range. So I have to come back for that once I get the boomerang. That'll be in the third dungeon, so I won't be back here for quite a while. I won't come back here until I have all the items required to collect everything in it, basically. I mean, it would be kind of stupid to come back here, you know, just for an item, I mean, a, a skull tula or something that only, you know, required that one item, and then I would have to come back here later. Uh, after getting another item, you get the idea. I'm gonna avoid those keys all together this time because I burned all the uh, uh, spider webs there, and I, I, don't, I don't trust this room. Oh no! Wait, I did this room before. <laughs> so yeah, I definitely did this room before. So I'm going to take care of that. And this was the room I was supposed to go to. Oh, yeah, I was supposed to go through the crawl space. My bad. <laughs> Dang me and my bad sense of direction. So we're into first person mode here and with a weird shadow. I don't remember that shadow being there in the original game. Deku Baba. There are big. Whoa, wait, wait. Oh, business scrub. Hello. Uh. What do you sell once I stun you? Uh, Deku shield. Ah, okay, so if my shield ever burns, I can get one from him for 50 rupees. But obviously that's overpriced compared to the one that I got for 40. But you pay for the convenience, basically. <laughs> and okay. I wonder if I should take care of you. Eh, eh, and eh, eh. I would like to... No, no. Come on, oh, like to horizontal slash you. There we go. <laughs> well, that was still vertical because I was pointing the control stick at him. And wait, what do I do with? Oh, I remember what I'm supposed to do. Remember, I played through this game once before. I said, so it, it may take me a little bit to remember some of the puzzles. But what I'm supposed to do is uh, get a torch, light it. Well, well a Deku stick, light it, and then roll into that spider web. And what will happen is that the um, the thing will actually ignite because you grabbed, not, not grabbed onto it, I was reading the icon. Um, what will happen is that you'll roll into it and the fire will touch the web and that will ignite the web and let you fall down through there. Normally that, that, that thing is completely open, so that's not in the original game whatsoever. Okay, I'll let you push that down there. It acts as a shortcut back. <laughs> It acts as a shortcut back over here. Plus, it. Wait, wait, wait. How do I. 
Ow! <laughs> wait, 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 I can just walk right across here. Okay, I thought I had to climb up there with the stick, but that makes a lot more sense. No, no, no. Give me a heart, please. I would very much appreciate a heart, if at all possible. Eee! Eee! That's gonna give me a stick, isn't it? Okay, that's fine. Oh, there's a heart, okay. I, I hate that incessant beeping whenever you're low on energy. So whenever I see that I'm low on energy and it starts beeping, I'm gonna be looking for hearts frantically. Okay, now climb up here. Hop up here, and now roll! Do a barrel roll! And I lost my stick, curses. <laughs> Um, I don't really think there's anything more to do. Cause I didn't see any more treasure chests. There's a treasure chest I missed in that room. There's one I missed on the third floor. What? Hmm. You know what? I'll. E mm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that in the next part. So I hope you enjoyed this part, and I will see you in the next part when I check to see what the heck those treasure chests are. Maybe that's what that blocked off area on the third floor was? I'm not sure. Hmm. I'll tell you. Hope you enjoyed.